very good morning to you. It's Monday, April 1st. In the UK, it's April Fool's Day, where people before 12 noon can play tricks on other people. But no tricks here, folks. Look at the state of me. Nikki had a play around with my beard and my moustache last night. Uh, to, well, we are going to dye it and do different colours and have a play around. Uh, yeah, look at me. I do quite like the moustache, I've got to say. I quite like that, so I might be keeping that going. Uh, but yeah, I don't know about that beard job. We'll see. Short cruise today, only about half an hour, 40 minutes. We're heading to a place called Hearts Hill, where we've got a gentleman coming tomorrow to do some work on chugs. So we're looking forward to get that done. And uh, yeah, then we'll be on our way to Atherston, probably on Wednesday. I can smell hot crust buns. See you in a minute. So we're on our way. Those woods, though, were a disgrace. Gives boaters a bad name. Uh, there was old clothes lying, uh, a mattress lying there, uh, an oil drum, just all sorts of people's rubbish. So we didn't let the kids go and play in there. You don't know what's around. I did manage to get a lot of firewood, though. Lots of fallen trees. And the kids had fun yesterday doing their Easter egg hunt. Went looking for the colorful little eggs. Uh, all over the place and uh, there was like squishy what were they squishy yes, little, uh, like, like yes. Little toy animals inside. little toy animals yes there was squishy crap everywhere we had snails bears dogs <laughs> all sorts yeah but the kids had fun So yes, today is the start of a new month. It's April the 1st. Uh, a very busy month for us. We've got Nikki's birthday. We've got Noah's birthday. And we've also got a meeting with Channel 4 about the uh, Narrow Escapes, the uh, new television series that we're in. 
Uh, so we've got a lot on, also lots and lots of new waters, all within about two or three weeks. So uh, yeah, very busy time of it, but we are looking forward to it. Well, that was a short cruise. We're moored up by the Anchor Inn here in Hartsill, opposite where the old Hartsill quarry was. And there used to be a loading wharf opposite here, where they used to load, load the granite. But we're here and uh, we may pop to the Anchor. I forgot what the name of it was again then. Did I say Crown? I don't know. No, but anchor, yeah. We may nip to the Anchor in a bit, but hopefully um, Derek and Pauline might be joining us here today. We may be getting the work done here or up by the yard in the morning. We're going to find out. Catch you when we move next time. Bye-bye. See you in a minute, actually, because it'll be on the same vlog. Look at that. Boo! There you go. I told you. You see? It's a couple of days later, actually. It's Wednesday, the 3rd of April. And obviously, we're still here at Hearts Hill by the Crown, but we're moving today. By the way, that Crown pub, lovely food very nice and very friendly people as well we've had our work done here uh, so we're good to go um, it's been raining we've have had uh, a lot of rain yesterday last night loads of rain it's just been a wet horrible winter hasn't it it's been mild but it's been very wet uh, yeah here we go again Well, we're on our way and the wind's got up. As soon as I untied the boat, the wind got up. But the fire's on, uh, ready to dry some washing because we're off to uh, a water point at Artsil Services. But it was nice there, the anchor was nice. Although we did have a fright one, uh, one of the days. We looked in the water, we could hear a noise. And we looked in the water, no boats had gone past. And there was a whirlpool appeared in the middle of the canal. It looked like somebody had pulled the plug out. So we watched the water levels. It must have been, I don't know, about 15 minutes swirling around, but then it, it just stopped. Water levels stayed the same, but yeah, strange phenomenon. Not nice to see. <laughs> The site of an old railway bridge, long gone.
water time again. There's worse places to get water. This historic yard, as you would have seen before in our vlogs. Love coming here. I'd love to take the boat in there and have a look what's in there. But we're getting a load of washing doing, uh, hence the high revs, getting a load of washing, filling up with water, filling the jerry cans, and then we're gonna get on our way to Atherston. But the weather has definitely took a turn for the worse. It started to rain as we moored up and uh, get very windy. Never mind, be cozy when we get in by that fire. Well, that's the washing done for a while and we're full of water. I had a bit of lunch there as well. Nobody was coming, so we weren't holding anyone up. But a lot of this fantastic canal architecture gets missed, doesn't get seen at all. There was um, a conveyor bridge there, it used to carry granite from the quarry over to the tram line, the transshipment yard, if you like. And all these little arches and the, the fantastic brickwork just doesn't get seen. Uh, as a boat ride, I suppose I feel quite privileged. I do get to see it and appreciate it. Love it. trying our best to get out the wind for this beard update in aid uh, well in memory really of a dear friend Debbie that we lost and of course the hairy biker Dave Myers uh, 25th of May this beard's coming off sorry it's very windy and we've got moored boats so I've got to be careful um, yes and as you know we're raising money for cancer research so please donate as of last Wednesday our total was 1,000 four hundred and eighty seven pounds and fifty pence that was including gift aid so well done to everyone that's donated but this week I'm going to turn to my glamorous assistant for the numbers right glamorous assistant I am drums are rolling right so this week your total is one thousand four hundred and seventy five and is that six pence the end of or eight pence, so I don't yeah, know, I'm yes. Sure. And you've got in gift aid 276.25. Which makes a grand total. Oh, sorry about the wind noise, we have tried the mics again, I promise you. <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to shield the wind. Are you ready? Go on. £1,751.25. That's not bad going, is That's it? That's not bad going at all. What's that, an extra? Nearly £300. Yeah. yeah. So, wow, what an amazing amount. Thank you so very much. We really can't thank you enough. Um, we're just surprised how much it's gone up and continues to go up. We're doing well. You are very well, yes. We're doing good. Thank you so much, folks. We really do mean it. We're not just saying it idly at all. I know Debbie would be amazed and I'm sure Dave would be too and uh, yeah to everyone that is suffering through cancer at the moment we do know a few people and we wish you all the very best let's hope that we can find a cure to this dreadful disease it would be amazing it really would we're not far off Atherston now darling we're getting blown there But we are planning on getting some beard dye. Well, Nikki is when we're in Atherston. We're not sure if we're going for blue, purple, or pink first. Or a bit of both. Or a bit, a bit of both. Of Thanks again, guys. Thank you.
and here we are all moored up by the hat factory once again i did do a vlog from here oh a couple of months ago i suppose there will be a link below if you want to know the history of that marvelous old building there uh but yeah atherston we're going to be here probably tonight and tomorrow night and then move down the flight there's 11 locks in front of us with a couple of nice moorings down there um yeah <sighs> same old same old catch you when we move next time <laughs>